Good morning everyone and welcome to Family Tales. My name is Lisa. I'd like to say thank you to the Gadigal and Wongal people of the Eora Nation for letting us share their land. We promise to look after it, the animals and the people too. Will you say hello land with me? Hi land! Hello sky! Hi sky! Hello friends! Hi friends and hello me. Hi, give yourself a big hug or someone sitting close to you. That was wonderful. Let's sing hello to each other. Are you ready? Hi, hello and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello and how are you? How are you today? I hope everybody's feeling really well today. Let's sing some other songs. Are you ready? Let's start with Open Shut Them. Can you close your hands up really tight? Let's go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth, <gasps> but do not let them in. Now shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them just like this. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, blow a little kiss. Mwah! Oh, that was beautiful. I love all those kisses. Thank you. <gasps> Let's sing another song now. I'm sure you'll know what this is. Are you ready to sing Twinkle Twinkle with me? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Here we go. Another one of my favourites is... Galumph. Does everybody know Galumph? Will you get your hands up on top of your head? Ready? Galumph went the little green frog one day. Galumph went the little green frog. Galumph went the little green frog one day and his eyes went glump, glump, glump. But we all know frogs go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We all know frogs go la di da di da. They don't go glump, glump, glump. Oh, that was great. Thank you. I'll be singing this next song and signing it in Auslan, which means Australian Sign Language. Auslan is a language, just like French or English. Some people speak Auslan because they can't hear, and that's okay. We sign because it makes book buddies, story time, family tales more inclusive for everyone. I'm going to do Incy Wincy Spider. I'm going to show you how it goes. You can follow me if you'd like. Are you ready? Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. I love signing. I also learned how to do my name. It's quite simple. My name is Lisa. So there's only four letters in my name. So I can do it like this. I'll spell it out with you. L I S A. Lisa. I'll do that again. L I S A. Maybe you can learn how to do your name in sign language as well. Okay, let's do another song now. This is one of my other friends called Humpty Dumpty. Are you ready? Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. But Humpty Dumpty counted to ten. Humpty Dumpty sat up again. All the king's horses and all the king's men were glad to see Humpty together again. Hooray for Humpty! Thank you, Humpty. Okay, I'm gonna read a story to you now. This is one of my favorite stories. It's called 
there's a hippopotamus on our roof eating cake. And it's by Hazel Edwards. And it's illustrated by Deborah Nyland. There's a hippopotamus on our roof eating cake. Our roof leaks. Drip, drip, drip. My daddy says there's a hole in our roof. I know why there's a hole. There's a hippopotamus on our roof eating cake. He can do what he likes. Drip, drip, drip. My hippopotamus doesn't like baths. He's having a shower. I know because I heard him. There's a hippopotamus on our roof having a shower. Mummy is on a diet. She eats lettuce, tomato and cheese. My big brother eats peanut butter sandwiches. I eat honey sandwiches. The hippopotamus on our roof eats cake all the time. Mummy asked about the cake. Is it birthday cake? No. Is it chocolate cake? No. Is it special cake? Yes. There's a hippopotamus on our roof eating special cake. Yesterday, I fell over and cut my knee. It hurt. There was a lot of blood. At the hospital, the doctor put three stitches in my knee. I cried. Last night, the hippopotamus told me something. He's got a sore knee too. There's a hippopotamus on our roof with a bandage on his knee. There's a hippopotamus on our roof watching television. He is very big. He can do what he likes. Mummy won't let me watch television. After dinner and a story, I have to go to bed. My hippopotamus watches. I know he does. There's a hippopotamus on our roof watching television. Today I was naughty. I drew on Daddy's best book. Daddy growled at me. Down here, no one is my friend. My hippopotamus lives on the roof. He's my friend, I know. He isn't cross. No one growls at him. He's too big. He can draw anything. There's a hippopotamus on our roof drawing with crayons. He wasn't there last night. I know why. He told me. He went to work. My hippopotamus works part time at the zoo. Zoo visitors look at animals. At the zoo, he watches people. When he's not working, my hippopotamus eats cake on our roof. There's a hippopotamus on our roof riding a bike. I've got a bike. Mummy won't let me ride on the road. There are cars on the road. There are no cars on the roof. He can ride anywhere. I know he can. There's a hippopotamus on our roof riding a bike. The men fixed the roof today. Bang, bang, bang. No more drips. They didn't see my hippopotamus. He climbed down the ladder while the men had lunch. He'll be back tonight. Then I can say, there's a hippopotamus on our roof eating cake. <laughs> Thank you for listening to that story with me. Do you have a hippopotamus on your roof eating cake? Or maybe a giraffe or an elephant? Who knows? I'm going to sing another song with you today. It's called Three Jellyfish. Would you help me count the jellyfish? One, two, three. And they're all sitting on a rock. You ready to sing with me? Three jellyfish, three jellyfish, three jellyfish sitting on a rock. <gasps> One fell off. Oh no! Two jellyfish. Two jellyfish, two jellyfish sitting on a rock. <gasps> Another one fell off. Oh no! One jellyfish, one jellyfish, one jellyfish sitting on a rock. <gasps> it fell off too. Oh no! No jellyfish, no jellyfish, no jellyfish sitting on a rock. But wait a minute, one jump back. 
Hooray! One jellyfish, one jellyfish, one jellyfish sitting on a rock. <gasps> and look, then its friend jumped back as well. Hooray! Two jellyfish, two jellyfish, two jellyfish sitting on a rock. <gasps> and wait a minute, it's other, their other friend jumped back as well. Hooray! Three jellyfish, three jellyfish, three jellyfish sitting on a rock. Yay! Hooray! Thanks everyone for joining me at Family Tales today. And don't forget to come and visit us at the library sometimes as well. We'd love to see you in there and looking at all of our lovely resources online. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.